to YouTube. This here's Tex Grebner again. I'm just getting back from doing a stalk in my new hunting spot. I was coming across the railroad bridge to do a little bit more scouting tonight, tonight and I had my bow with me and when I was coming across the bridge I looked down into the field and there was a herd of about six deer and so I stopped at the top of the alfalfa when I got there and shot a bunch of cover scent on me and tried to find the wind. Took one of these nice arrows that I got here, put her on the string, slick as you please, put my release on it and did kind of a foolish stalk down through the field and I got to about oh 60 yards away and then I wanted to range it so I clicked my release off my bow and well I got my range finder out and shot it at this herd of deer and well I'm a dumbass because my release was in the way it was sitting on the bottom of my wrist blocking the laser well I kind of screwed around with that for a little bit trying to get it to work and then I reached up or I changed hands and set my bow down on the ground and moved my release out of the way and looked through my range finder and it said about 60 yards and then I put my range finder away and looked up and there was this big old doe just staring at me and I had my camo bandana up around my nose like that and I had plenty of fox piss on me so she couldn't quite tell what I was because I was on my hands and knees but as I was reaching down to pick up my bow she just locked on to me and so I put my release back on the string and she started walking towards me and she stopped about 50 yards away she wouldn't broadside me and I just kept wanting her to get a little closer just get inside 40 yards and I'd try and send one right through her front but she never did and well all of a sudden the wind hit the back of my neck and she knew exactly what I was even if she couldn't see me and she snorted and the bitch threw her tail up in the air and all six of them does just took off through the field and into the timber and I followed them for a little bit through the timber but I didn't want to stir things up too bad because it's good and flat but it's plenty thick and there's a lot of dead stuff back there and I was just making too much noise but on my way out of the timber I found a pretty good set of rubs on trees that were about two foot long and they were about three foot off the ground where they started so I know there's a big buck out there and I'm sure there's a few decent sized small bucks out there too because I found a bunch of rubs on trees the size of a broomstick handle so I'm pretty confident in, that I'm gonna get some more shot opportunities I'm just happy that I got the chance to make a stalk even if it didn't turn out um, we're starting to get into the pre-rut now because I've seen a deer or I seen a four corn buck scent check in a doe tonight on my way to my hunting spot and it was in somebody's yard and well shit I thought it was a ceramic deer until I seen it go for the doe but I got a few strategies for this new spot um I'm not gonna hunt the rub line because I don't want to disturb that I know they're out there so I found a pretty good deer trail along a scrape. This scrape's about three foot by four foot. It's a huge scrape. It's really active. Anyways, so I'm gonna find a good tree that I'm gonna put my climber on and 
get up above their noses and see if I can't get an arrow into one when my climber gets here just before the rut hits or even another strategy of mine that I'm thinking about is putting my ground blind out underneath that acorn tree where they were feeding and letting them get used to it and putting a little bit of mock scrape on the ground and seeing if I can't get one out of that ground blind when they come out at night to feed or before dark to feed and so I'm hopeful and y'all anybody that's given me advice has been real helpful and I'd like to thank you for that thanks again to Big Country from the Ducked Up Boys real nice crew check out their videos check out Jen Loves the Nuge and I heard Fred Bear playing in the wind the only problem was that wind was hitting the back of my neck and them damn deer fucking took off so long story short I'm having a pretty decent season my friend Lance has got a deer I haven't missed any deer yet because I haven't gotten close enough for a shot but I'm gonna set up that ground blind and wait on my climber to get here and hopefully I'll get one before the rut and be able to relax and we'll just see what happens got the trusty Martin Cheetah carbon express arrows with blazer veins and magna snuffers now I've ruined a few magna snuffers along the way doing stupid shit with them or shooting them straight through my target into my wood shed that I have as a backstop and you just call up Magnus and they'll tell you what you gotta do they got a lifetime guarantee on all their broadheads if you send the broadheads in they will replace them free of charge all you have to do is pay both ways shipping and that says a lot so anyways God bless all you blood brothers and blood sisters out there. And I'll see you around. Good hunting.